a new year, and a new rumor flooding the gaming streets. C, Ubisoft Plus rumored to be added to Game Pass. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another episode of The Medicine, kicking off 2021, baby, on the channel. Before we get too deep into all that stuff, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I'm not too proud to ask, let's get into it. All right, let's talk about it, y'all. So here's what's going on. Um, Ubisoft Plus which is the subscription service uh, presented by Ubisoft where um, right now there's like two variations of it, variations of it. There's the PC variation and there's the cloud gaming variation. With the PC variation, you get access to pretty much all of the Ubisoft games. I'm gonna say about a hundred of them. Um, plus uh, you get access to all of them in a subscription base. So you pay like $15 a month, you'll get access to those 100 plus games or 100 games, whatever the case may be. You get promised the gold editions or the ultimate editions of all the games as they release. You know what I'm saying? So you get the season pass and all that stuff included with the games for lowly $15 a month. Right now, that's the PC version. There is a cloud version that is being offered via Amazon Luna and Google Stadia. And what it is is that those platforms have about a fifth of those games, about 20 plus games from Ubisoft. You get access to all those games and any future games that drop day and date, just like the PC service. You get them day and date, the the ultimate edition or you know whatever the top tier edition is with the season pass, you get access to all Ubisoft games through that model. It's a very lucrative game subscription. Um, it's very popular on PC and I, I'm, Assuming that Ubisoft is looking to see where else they can make hay with this service, um, you know, via the success of Game Pass. Well, because of Game Pass success, it's like at 15 million plus, and people said that they think that it's going to hit 20 million. It hit 20 million by the end of 2020. Rather, we still have to see numbers to solidify that. With that being said, um, EA Play was recently added. Now, what that is, is that is the version of EA subscription service where they give you access to older games. They'll give you 10 hour access to its latest games. Um, and then they give that to you for $5 a month. That merged with Xbox Game Pass. Uh, I want to say around September of 2020. That could be wrong, but latter 2020 is when that merged with Game Pass. So if you get Game Pass Ultimate, the $15 subscription service with Game Pass. You now get access to all of those EA Play perks, okay, as part of that subscription. Now, going through the rumor reveal, people have said that there is a possibility that you're gonna see something to the likes when it comes to Ubisoft Plus, and we just explained to what that is, explained to everybody what that is. Here's the thing though, all right, I'm very skeptical about this, and I even laughed at this at first, because when I saw the sources that this was coming from, I ain't gonna name names here, but some of those sources we've had experience with, with saying things, raising expectations for E3, being overzealous about crackdown, then having to retract about it. I ain't, you know, y'all do your homework, y'all do the math, y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna name names here. I'm just gonna simply say this, is that because of those sources, I wasn't sure this was even happening, but my good friend Chase, also known as the gaming advocate over on the Stadia side of things, or the cloud gaming side of things, really. Well, he covers all gaming news now going into 2021, so definitely check out his channel, The Gaming Advocate. A lot of deep thought, thought-provoking conversations that happen over there on that platform. I love it. That being said, he and I had a discussion, and he said, you know what? I think there might be some legs to this. So I trust him because I know what he does is he's not he's not shilling for anybody. He kicks the tires when it comes to his sources. Now again, this is an extra stone. Don't know if it's 100% true, but I know with my good friend Chase, he kicks the tires when it comes to his sources. You know what I'm saying? And then after he does that, he says, you know what? 
there might be some legs to this. So if this is a possibility, here are my thoughts on it. I think that you might see Ubisoft games being merged to Game Pass in one of two ways. You're either going to see their equivalent to EA Play, which is you'll get access to older games, let's say like, you know, Division 2, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you know what I'm saying? You'll get access to some demo. However EA Play is set up, you'll see something like that that could fit into a $5 model. Um, and then you'll see that just merged into Game Pass as well. Um, or the only other way I can see this happening is if you get Game Pass Ultimate as the first tier, as a second tier, you will also be able to subscribe to Ubisoft Plus in its totality on the platform, meaning you'll get access to all to 100 Ubisoft games, the, the you know, the premiere editions or gold editions or ultimate editions, similar to, um, to what's on PC, but you're going to have to have Game Pass Ultimate and it's not going to be baked into the service there. I, I they can't take that hit. And I don't believe that Ubisoft Plus is going to diminish their service that much to where they're only gonna take a portion where they're taking $15.99 on PC, they're taking $15.99 on the cloud platforms. I just don't see that. I see what I do see them doing, uh, maybe reducing it a bit. So if you have Game Pass Ultimate for an additional $10 a month, for $25 a month, you can get um, Game Pass Ultimate and Ubisoft Plus and get access to all those games. Now, here's what I think about that if that is in the works, particularly the latter. That would be a great deal and it's a big competitive move because a lot of people may say, well, $25, that might be expensive, but here's the thing. Um, Stadia, right now, if you have Stadia Pro and you want Ubisoft Plus, it's the same price. And if you compare Stadia Pro's offerings as far as volume to Ubisoft and the Game Pass merging, you know, or be having a tier staggered offering, you're getting a lot more with Game Pass and Ubisoft's offering on Xbox. You know what I mean? Um, and that's some type of bargaining chips that Microsoft can use because again, People got to remember, Microsoft says that their biggest competitor is Amazon and Google, not so much PlayStation. Now, if you agree with that or not, I don't know. If you if you buy that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's up to you or or myself. I don't know. It's up to us. But that's who their focus is, nonetheless. And if you look at the fact that if you want Stadia Pro and you want Ubisoft Plus on Stadia, you got to pay twenty five dollars. There's, their offering would be, hey, for $25, we're giving you a lot more volume because Ubisoft Plus, I imagine, on um, Xbox would be bigger than Ubisoft Plus on Stadia at the moment because they're still porting the games on Stadia. Stadia right now, Ubisoft Plus is only 20 plus games where they already got a crap load of games on Xbox, right? So that would be something to think about, you know, as far as for marketing purposes, for monitoring, all of those stuff. And that would be a plus for Xbox in there. Again, their battle against Amazon and Luna. And the same thing applies with, 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 with um, Amazon Luna and Google, where they only have a fraction of the games that Xbox has for Ubisoft. Now, Beyond that, I don't. There's no other way this is gonna come on the platform if this is true. And again, I'm oh, I'm I'm like 70 30 percent skeptical. I'm 70 percent like this ain't happening. 30 percent this might be a possibility if they particularly do the latter. I don't see Ubisoft trying to be like EA and making a mini me, you know, version. I see them if they are gonna merge with anybody, it's gonna be look. You can get Ubisoft Plus for ten dollars. We'll, we'll take the hit for a little bit, or you take the hit. We want $5 out of Game Pass, you know what I'm saying? And then when you wanna up the promotional price or get past this promotional tier, then you get your full 15 back or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I see that happening, if anything. But I'm, 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 I'm only in the 30 percentile belief that that's what's gonna happen. That being said, um, it's great and all, it's a great proposal. But again, I, I'm leery and I caution to my Xbox brethren, don't 
put too much stock into this right now. I know there was an interview with Aaron Greenberg and he said, well, we're open to any subscription service. Yeah, because Stadia said the same thing. And of course, they want to run neck and neck with their competition. That being said, I'm not sure if anything's in the works with this. And if there is, great. But again, I, I think it's unlikely. That being said, the biggest thing I think right now for Xbox to, to, to focus on is not the subscription models or what's baking into Game Pass, um, but more or less, what is your what what games are coming to the platform that'll separate it from its competition? Not how can we make this the offering that you get elsewhere cheaper? I, you know what I mean? I, I think the biggest thing going into 2021. That should be Xbox's focus is like, what content that can we produce or can we inspire that'll separate us from the pack? Again, not what can we give you that you can get elsewhere cheaper? Because even though that's a great deal, people are willing to pay for quality. And if ultimately, if I feel that platform A, platform B or platform C overall gives me greater content, I'll pay the extra $5 or $10, you know what I'm saying? Or I'll just buy the games a la carte, rather. You know what I mean? Everybody's not a budget gamer. Some people are willing to pay full price for what they want. So it's indicative of Microsoft to ensure that yes, while if they are working on something like this, that'll be a great deal. But on top of that, please <laughs> work on your offerings that separate you from the pack opposed to just saving some money. That's It's a great thing to implement, but that can't be the nook and cranny because again, a lot of gamers, they won't buy a lot, but they will pay for quality and they'll put all their chips on the basket or on the table where they feel that their qu where quality may lie. All right. So even though this is great news, even, you know, with, with, with Stadia, we were leaning so much on uh, 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 Ubisoft Plus. But by the time we got to the end of the year, we ain't even thinking about it no more. You know what I'm saying? And Ubisoft, I mean, Ubisoft Plus is a great service. Don't get me wrong. There's a great catalog of games there. But again, it's not going to it's not going to deliver the way that many people thought, like any many people thought in the stadium community, it just ain't going to deliver that much. So again, that'll be a great thing if it happens. But again, going into 2021, I think the big focus should be primarily what stuff can we produce starting this year? We can bring to fruition that's going to separate us from the pack. And with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. And yo, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. With all that said, I appreciate and love all of y'all. Thank y'all so much for y'all support in 2020. And we're going, we're going to need it again in 2021. You all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.